Now I'll show you what to do when picking the strawberries. Strawberries are very perishable goods and prone to damage. That's why it's important to be careful when picking and packing the berries. Strawberry plants are planted in rows and remain in the ground for up to three years. You should be gentle with the plants and make sure to tread carefully for two reasons. The first is to make sure you don't harm or destroy the plants. The second is to ensure you don't step on any strawberries. When you arrive on the field, prepare your crates and punnets, then proceed to your assigned row. Do not switch back and forth between rows in order to protect the plants and the strawberries. This ensures a quick and uniform harvest. Do you remember the video on hygiene measures, where I explained the strawberries often go straight to stores after being picked? That's why they must be good quality and clean. Now I'll show you how to make sure of this. When working on your row, use a small trolley or other device to store your crates and punnets on. This helps to stop the strawberries becoming contaminated. This also makes your work easier. This farm uses trolleys which have a place to put the crates in the buckets. Put all strawberries with imperfections, such as white, orange, or mushy spots, into the bucket. Moldy or otherwise damaged strawberries still need to be picked. To keep the plant healthy and prevent the strawberries, which are still growing, from being contaminated with mold spores or decomposing bacteria. But how do you know which strawberries to pick or not? That's easy. Kneel down next to the plant and brush the leaves carefully to one side. Now you can see the strawberries better. Take a closer look at the red strawberries. Take hold of them carefully and turn them a little. If the strawberry is a nice red all over, pick it and put it carefully in the punnet. Remember, strawberries are extremely delicate. Repeat this with each red strawberry on the plant. Then you can move on to the next plant. When moving to the next plant, change knees to avoid straining one knee and to protect your body. Once you've filled a crate, label it, and then pick it up with both hands and take it to the harvest trailer. There it is scanned, weighed, and stacked carefully. Then take a new crate with empty punnets and go back to your position in your row. On many farms, there is often a performance bonus to reward the quality and care of your work. If you take note of these few things, then a successful strawberry harvest won't be a problem. Remember, prepare your crates and put them on the trolleys or harvesting equipment. Work in your assigned row. Only pick ripe strawberries and put bad ones in another container. Pick all the ripe strawberries on one plant before starting on the next. Label the full crates. Carry them in two hands to the harvest trailer. Scan and weigh them before starting on the next crate. Now that you're all clued up, you can begin your strawberry harvest.